Welcome to the AIM extensions tutorial for the plugin H1 heading. After installing the extension, you can directly activate and configure it. Our PDF manual may also be useful for you. If you don't want to download it, you can read it online on our website, amy-extensions.com. Before we start to configure the plugin, let's have a look at the problem it fixes. This is an usual Joomla article, automatically generated without an H1. There is only an H2, as we can see here. If we then click on the Activate and Configure Plugin Now button, we can change the extension status from Disabled to Enabled and save the configuration. In the default H1 configuration, everything is ready to go for a standard Joomla installation already. Now let's look at the article again. There we can see that the H2 turned into an H1, and that is what the plugin does. It takes the first H2 of a page and turns it into an H1. But wait, there are some more useful features as we can see here. Exclude these contexts allows you to decide whether the plugin should repair the H1 heading of a context or not. Every page generated in a context listed in the blacklist will not be repaired. The input you write in the blacklist is the context which consists of the component in view. To make finding out which context a page has easier, activate the Show Context function. Here we can see that the extension shows the context of a page in the front end now. You can also copy this output and paste it directly into the blacklist. Always remember to deactivate this function after looking up the relevant contexts. You can also check the quantity of H1 headings by activating Check H1 Headings. If you have more than one H1 on a page, the plugin will warn you by writing them in huge red letters, as you can see here in the front end. After checking your website, always remember to deactivate this function as well. Thanks for your attention and have fun using Amy H1 Heading.